Well, good morning and welcome to Daily Prayer. Today is Monday the 24th of April and I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me. As always, we use the form of prayer written by the Reverend David Adam in his book, The Rhythm of Life. We use one of the day's Bible readings and a reflection on that reading. And on a Monday, our theme for prayer is creation. And so we pray. To God the Father who created the world, to God the Son who redeemed the world, to God the Holy Spirit who sustained the world, be all praise and glory now and forever. Amen. Awaken us to your glory. Dispel the darkness of night. Destroy our heaviness of heart. Cure the blindness of our sight. Heal the deafness of our ears. Open the mouth that is dumb. Restore a gentleness of touch. Encourage in us a sense of adventure. Bring us an awareness of you. Awaken us to your glory. And the psalm today is Psalm 8, how exalted is your name in all the world. O Lord our Governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Out of the mouths of infants and children, your majesty is praised above the heavens. You've set up a stronghold against your adversaries to quell the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses, what are mortals that you should be mindful of them, mere human beings that you should seek them out? You have made them little lower than the angels. You adorn them the glory and honour. You give them mastery over the works of your hands and put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever walks in the paths of the sea. O Lord our Governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. And today... Um, because in the church they keep uh, the festival of St George, George the Martyr, patron saint of England, we've, um, we've jumped our reading to uh, Joshua. Joshua chapter 1. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the river Jordan into the land I'm about to give them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That fun, wonderful opening of the book of Joshua. <clears throat> and uh, let me read a reflection on that passage. And this week, our reflections are written by Reverend Kate Bruce, and she says this. Today's reading is problematic. How does it sound if you're a Hittite and the territory being promised is the land you till, the place you love? the space where your children play and grow. Are the Hittites occupying the land unimportant? Is their wholesale slaughter just a minor matter? We are on problematic turf. As we read today's passage, we have to recall that the Hittites are created by God, the same God who calls all nations to himself. We need to look to the bigger vision of scripture, which calls us to have the courage to love beyond borders after the pattern of Jesus who loves without limit. St George's Day, if handled in an insular way, could also be problematic about limit setting, us and them. However, as we mark this man born in what is now modern day Turkey, we have an opportunity to celebrate the good of those many countries and cultures who own him as patron. Aragon, Catalonia, Georgia, Portugal, Germany, Lithuania, Palestine, Greece, Moscow, Istanbul, England and Genoa. Folklore says St George slayed a dragon that was demanding human sacrifices. A fitting celebration of St George's Day in any country should include challenging the dragons of xenophobia, racism and exclusion. 
slaying these enemies that dehumanise and devalue the other. It's worth recalling that following in Jesus' footsteps, St George had a special connection with lepers, those who are outcast, Hittites by any other name. I like the fact that she faces head on the problems of the text. And I like that idea of, of slaying the dragons of xenophobia, racism and exclusion. And that that's something to, to champion as we think about St George. <clears throat> and so we begin our prayers and we begin with the collect for St George. God of hosts who so kindled the flame of love in the heart of your servant George that he bore witness to the risen Lord by his life and by his death. Give us the same faith and power that we who rejoice in his triumphs may come to share with him in the fullness of the resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And we continue in prayer. For the beauty of the earth, for the mystery of creation, for the wonders of the universe, for the power within all things, for all who work the land, for all who care for our planet, for all involved in conservation, for all who improve our environment, Father of all, we praise you. Upon all who are suffering from hunger, upon the world's refugees, upon all prisoners of tyranny and war, upon all who are exploited, upon the underprivileged, Lord, come in hope. Father of all creation, we thank you that you have given us a world rich in resources and made us stewards of your mysteries. Help us to act responsibly, not wasting or destroying what we do not need, not polluting the earth or sea or sky, that we may act with love towards all things and so reflect the great love that you have for the world. God of stilled waters, God of calmed seas, on a night of a difficult crossing as your friends began to lose faith, you awoke and hushed the turbulent waves with the power of an earthly peace. May we respect the sheer force of what we cannot control and believe in the strength that sleeps in the storm. Amen. And we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The sun and the stars, the valleys and the hills, the rivers and the lakes all disclose your presence. The roaring breakers of the sea tell of your awesome might. The beasts of the field and the birds of the air proclaim your wondrous will. In your goodness you've made us able to hear the music of the world. The voices of loved ones reveal to us you are in our midst. A divine song sings through all creation. Lord our God, you renew the face of the earth and bring newness to our world. Restore the waters, refresh the air, revive the land, breathe new life into all your creation and begin with us. So may the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, bless and guide you in all that you do, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life which is eternal. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me for prayer today and at the beginning of this week. Uh, do comment, let me know you're here. Uh, we'll be back here for prayer tomorrow at 9.45, as we will every day this week and next week. And it's after that that we'll return or re re change to just one day on a Tuesday. But we're here every day this week and every day next week. So hopefully see you tomorrow. Until then, take care and God bless. Bye for now.